great little setup we got here. Yep. Just coming in. No, sorry. Be careful. Be careful. Sorry. Hello. Hello. Welcome, Welcome to. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to the, the Sexless Salesman, Salesman Podcast. Podcast number five. We've done five? We've done five of these. We never do these. We never do these. We have been bad. Last time, last podcast Nine. we did was in, um, where? Uganda. Tahoe. We were in Tahoe. Uganda. Also, also known as the California Uganda. <laughs> um, we got a little mood lighting here. We just thought we'd spice it up a little bit. Let's spicy spice it up. We definitely don't look like two gay lovers in a room with... We both have no pants on, sitting on a dining table with a candle. And just to just to assure you, we, we are... We have no pants on. We have no pants on. We have absolutely no pants on. Um... First off, I just want to talk real quick about our vlog situation. Let's talk about the vlog situation. My friend here hasn't uploaded a vlog since, since Zero December. Zero vlogs since December. And I'm honestly sorry. He's sorry. You know, he's sorry. Put he's a picture of someone who's sorry. Nice. Just put like, <laughs> put like Tiger Woods. <laughs> <laughs> put a po famous apology. Um, he's sorry, you know? And look. And, and I have recorded footage from all the months. He has so much footage. I can vouch. I just haven't edited the footage yet. Because I'm a lazy piece of shit. But it's coming. It's, it's May. coming. It's coming. And we are, we, April, I, you know, I, I've been more consistent with my vlogs. I've done February, March, uh, and October. But April was a hard month for us. It was a hard month. It was a hard month for us for a lot of personal reasons. So there might not be a vlog for me in April. But there definitely will be in May. May, we're making vlog month. As Justin Timberlake said, it's gonna be May. It's gonna be May. It is May. Today is the first of May. That's how we do it, baby. Whoa! For, we are men! We are men. It's May the first. The first of May. Which means, what are we doing today? We're talking food, and we're talking hypotheticals. First off, before we go forward, Club Penguin. This guy's been playing some fucking Club Penguin. I've been playing a little bit too much Club Penguin. Yes. If you're, think, if you're thinking like, is there a different Club Penguin? No. It's the same Club Penguin. Show a picture of Club Penguin just to make sure. And show a picture of my house. That's a house. Okay. Well, now that's not an igloo anymore. It's a house. At that what's point. the house called? The penthouse. The penthouse. This man. I I've been doing, this man hasn't been doing anything for three days. I've been penthousing. I go to work, I come home, I penthouse. He's been on the grind. That's what he told. That's what he called it. You and I call work? it. I call it. You grind. This is what you do. I think grind is the wrong word in every way. <laughs> Hydro hopper. Uh 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 um. Minecart. Uh, puzzle roundup. Minecart. Dojo. A uh, dojo. You know. These are these are the grind. All right, let's get into let's get into let's get into. Okay, just before we before we jump into it, yeah. um, Leo was bragging to me about his crazy penthouse, but um, <clears throat> that's not the most. Ah! That's not the most expensive house you can buy in Club Penguin. All right, I could have waited a little longer and gotten the double decker. Right? Do you know what that means? That means there's time for a redemption. <laughs> That means that Parker thinks that he can. First of all, I'm a yellow belt in in in, in car jitsu. Parker's not. Parker doesn't have a belt. Um, uh, you know, he has to he has to redeem himself. I actually had a black belt in my last account. And uh, what's your last account? What's your last account name? It's actually called Squanto. <laughs> <laughs> like the Indian. I thought his name was so cool in history class in third grade. I was like, holy shit. My name is Squanto. And that's the worst way to represent My dress is not your culture, <laughs> dude. My name is not your We're Club not Penguin it. account. I know, I know. We're not but, um, all right, so let's let's jump get... into the food. But before we end that, I'm going to have a redemption, and I'm going to have a better house than Leo, and I'm going to have a black belt. You know why? Why? Because I prioritize <laughs> a penguin time for sleep. Let's get into the questions. Okay, I like, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we're reviewing weird food combinations. So this all stems. You want to go? This all stems with the stems from? This all stems from, I was never a ranch on pizza This is guy. true. This is ever, true. Ever. Ever. And I had a hard day. I cried. I cried in front of my best friend. That was a lot. And he says, you know, we're going to Lococo's. It's a local pizza shop down here. Shout out. Shout out to Lococo's Pizza. I hope no one out there sees this. Actually, I, I now that I don't work there, they can see this. That's <laughs> so, fun. shout out to Lococo's and... Is and okay with showing this to her? Yeah. Shout out to... 
I said her you life. said her full name. It can't, bleep that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna bleep it. <clears throat> um, uh, but but he he takes me to Lakoko's, this excellent pizza shop. A little expensive, though, you know. But I think it's, it's worth, worth it. Worth the if, quality. If, you know. Worth the quality. You want to shell out some bucks? We 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 eat at Lakoko's. Yes. And he goes, no, you gotta get it with ranch. You got already excellent pizza. Already excellent pizza. Ranch game. Gets the ranch. R for ranch. Gets the ranch. Start eating it. It's just amazing. It's just so It's so good. The breadiness combined with the fatty, like, you know, it's milkiness. Just carbs and fat. It's so, it's what my body needs. It's the best thing. It's the you. best thing. Anybody. I would recommend it to anybody. Anybody. I'd say anybody, as high as anybody. once a week, eat ranch and pizza. I definitely think so. Um, and so, uh, I... There's no dietary, um... Unless you're like lactose intolerant, yeah, then don't do the ranch. Then don't oh, do ranch, don't or do you ranch. can't do ranch or pizza in that case, because pizza has cheese on it. Wow, you live a sad life if you're yeah, lactose intolerant. I'm, we're really sorry. We're really sorry. From all of us here at Sentinel Salesman, put on some really sad music. We're, from all of us here at Sentinel Salesman, we'd like to apologize to all the lactose intolerant people for maybe offending you, um, making you feel left out. We're just trying to relate to the um, the masses. But anyway, so then <laughs> I was like, what other food, crazy food combinations are we missing out on? You know? A lot. A lot. So a lot. let's let's get into it. Is this a BuzzFeed mm -hmm. article? Cue Donald Trump talking about BuzzFeed. As far as BuzzFeed, which is a failing pile of garbage. You know how he talked about BuzzFeed? No. He was like, BuzzFeed's fake news. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like... Does that mean that that does not devaluate, devaluate our podcast? No, we have no he's news. never said that we are fake news. <clears throat> he's never actually mentioned Scentless Salesman. That's true, he never has. I, like, want to... I'm really tempted to edit together him being like, Scentless Salesman. <laughs> like, 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 sound clips of him. <laughs> so we did say it. He did. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, we're reviewing food combinations. All right, first one. Cheetos and milk. Oh, are we talking hot Cheetos? Yeah, the picture has it. Pull up the pic. It has hot Cheetos and milk. And here's the thing: I am an experienced hot Cheeto eater. Mm -hmm. I you have been fucking guzzling bags. I had half a bag today. I'm serious. Uh, like a big bag? Yeah, half a big bag. Wow, isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Crazy stuff. And like as a kid, I would always my fingers would be red. I'd walk around just smear red on everything. You wouldn't lick your fingers. I mean, it would, but then it'd still stay there. Yeah. It seeps in the chemicals they use. They seep in. It's actually, they use, um, for the red dye, they use beetle blood. And then my mom would just, every time she'd see me eat them, she'd go, beetle blood, beetle blood. And that wouldn't stop me. I love it. So I'm not a fucking quitter. I love quitter. so much. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I have a lot of experience with eating these Cheetos. And I would drink it with milk because hot food, milk, one of the best combinations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, when do you know ranch is for hot food? Oh. That'd be interesting. I don't Wait, know. keep going. But usually I have them separately. I've never decided to combine them in a bowl or anything. But I think it'd be pretty shitty. Yeah, <laughs> I think it'd be bad. That too. looks like my stomach. That's what my stomach looks like. Cheetos and milk. Let's go rapid fire through these. Rapid fire. Ready? Okay. What's the next one? Next one. Peanut butter and pickle sandwich. Bad. I bad. already think pickle sandwich would be bad. Two thumb people. down. Thumb down. And if it, like two thumbs down, and if there's a like you know a conflict, then we talk about it. That's true. So All wait, right. what was the Cheetos? Thumb two down. thumbs down. Pickles pickles, sandwich, thumb two thumb, thumb down. down. Actually, pickles are great. Pickles, pickles are great. Butter. Thumbs two up, thumbs yeah. down. Next one. Um, frosted flakes with cheese. That sounds fucking disgusting. Yeah. If you thought I was gonna say something good, down. then you're fucking down. wrong. Yeah, it's a little weird. <clears throat> Melted chocolate on a cheese pizza. I am saying that this might be good. I think this would be not only too much dairy, but too much iwi iwi on my tongue. Ah! I hate it sometimes. <laughs> um, um, I think that this might be good because it's like dessert and, and you know. Well, you have it separately. You said Cheetos and milk had to be let separate. Me think, let me think. Let me think of biting it. Brain blast. No, no, no. It'd be good. I'm positive it'd be good. Let I me am, see the picture. It looks disgusting. It looks kind of gross. Oh, melted chocolate. No. Thumbs down. I thought, it was, I thought it was like... What do you right, mean? Like a bar of chocolate. I'd like the idea of it being solid. Do you really? down? Yeah. I feel like that would be more disgusting. <laughs> no, no. Let's keep going. <laughs> Two thumbs down for the pizza and chocolate. Two thumbs down. Peanut butter and a hamburger. I say this is good. I, I, I would agree. Really? I think that'd be fucking great. Like, imagine just a little bit of texture that it provides. It'd oh wait, really smooth good. or crunchy? That's the real question. Smooth. 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 Actually, I've been more of a crunchy guy. Am I but mixed? smooth on a hamburger. Yeah, there's already enough crunch. Yeah, there's so, already... Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. 
I love how we're not trying these, but we're just <laughs> judging them by the photo. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich with Doritos in the middle. Okay. I Thumb, feel like I've tried these. So yeah, I feel like I have too. Have we tried these? Thumbs down if I was uh, if I was sober. Thumbs up if I was high. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs high. up if I was. High. I'd be like, oh, dude. <laughs> I'd be like, and we've actually tried this. This, Wrap, this, this tastes like the universe in a sandwich. Wrapping fruit roll ups around Doritos. This we've is done true. that. It's actually pretty good. And we were sober. We were like twelve. We were yeah. We were totally sober. Yeah, I realized that. Sober. We took shots of Mountain Dew and wrapped. <laughs> <laughs> what? We? What were we doing? God, we're the fucking worst, but we're also the best. Salt and pepper Sales. on apples. I'm gonna go thumbs up. That sounds fucking great. What? You know Why? how like okay, think about like you know how you put like some salt on other fruit. Like what's like you put with salt on watermelon? It tastes beautiful. I've never done that. Is that good? It's so good. Oh, I should do. So that. good. I give that a thumbs up. That's another story. Wait, let's I see give the photo. it a thumbs down. <clears throat> that looks unappetizing. I would give it a thumbs up. Okay. Honey on pizza. That's just a big That's a thumbs, thumbs up. up. That's a thumbs up. Thumbs Anything up. on pizza, I'm like Aside from chocolate. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for just chocolate. It, the sweetness and the and the like kind of what's it called? Cheesiness, I think. That would really good. mix. And honey's super like we, depending on how much you put on, honey's usually a light kinda Ooh, fries dipped in honey. Big thumbs. Up. thumbs you have thumbs to do up. it too. Big thumbs, thumbs up. Big thumbs up. Big thumbs up. up. <laughs> Vanilla ice cream with soy sauce. That sounds pretty good, actually. Awful! I think that would be good. Dude! I think that would be like... Soy sauce is like... You know what? We need to use it in a tiny amount. Think about complementary colors. They're opposite on the color wheel. Taste-wise... Fuck! Those are for sure opposites, and I feel like they would mix really well. They would okay. complement each other. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Um, popcorn and ketchup. Two, Two thumbs, thumbs down. down. Sog it up. Bad. Grape jelly and scrambled eggs. Oh. The texture is too much for me. That's to way too much. Too like squishy. scrambled eggs is already like super kind of hard to swallow. It's like sometimes. a brain. It's yeah. like yeah. you're eating a brain and it's just like oh my god. A brain. Next question. Two thumbs down for the scrambled eggs. And Salted jelly. crisps and Nutella. That's a thumbs up. I feel like so, I feel like Nutella is really hard to find something yeah, that it doesn't definitely. go well with. Like avocado and Nutella, I kind of be like. That's true. Like, like, maybe, maybe like ba like dead babies and avocado. Next question. Next question. Rice with ketchup. Oh god. I see that's good. I would disagree on all fronts. Maybe I think of like tomato sauce and ketchup. I mean tomato sauce and rice. I just like think rice would not go good with that like paste. And usually ketchup is cold too, and rice is served hot. <clears throat> Most yeah, of the time. No, I'd say you're right. So I go, ready? Two thumbs down. Two thumbs down. Ice cream and fries. Two thumbs Two up. Two thumbs up. Yeah, I've done that at like Shake that. Shack. Yeah. That's very like, that's yeah, like definitely. vanilla. Um, Literally yeah. vanilla. Show a picture of vanilla ice. Popcorn and marshmallows. Fucking two, three thumbs up three for that. Three thumbs. Three thumbs up three for that. Three thumbs up for that. So, I've heard that's so good. I've never tried it. I just feel like that'd be great. Fish fingers and custard, this is a, you know what this is from. It's a Doctor Who reference. I put up the fish fingers and custard video. I need fish fingers and I don't I've heard it's very good. Watch it. I've heard it's very good. Tell him. Butter and sugar sandwiches. It's like thumbs up, but like that's crazy. Wait, butter and sugar? I just feel like if you don't have a lot of money, this would be very viable for you. You're just like, fuck it, uh, butter and sugar. I just need food. You know, like that's fat. That's sh that's sugar. Obviously. That's sugar and that's carbs. Carbs. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right, let's let's do one last one. One more. One more really good one. Hope oh. you're enjoying the podcast so far. We, we don't have a guest on. We don't have a guest. Week. We're gonna have a guest on next week. Very soon. Surprise guest. I love how we say this week and next week, but we just go like not even month. By not month. even month. By but month. like we're gonna be posting some with guests very soon. Let's say let's promise that we will oh, have another whoa. one out by. Two weeks from now. Two weeks from now. Let's let's set the salesman promise that. Cold meatballs and melted chocolate. Oh. Why cold meatballs and melted chocolate? Yeah, what the fuck? I think <laughs> it's like, the worst one we've said. Yeah, like why? What? First of all, when do you ever have a cold meatball? <laughs> like yeah, they're I feel like you, I've seen like I've seen you. You see me eat a cold meatball. I feel like that it hurts me in so many ways. <laughs> I come over to your house and you've been like, hey Leo, and opened up a Tupperware and just called like that. 
<laughs> I think I've eaten um, spaghetti as cold. You've before. definitely, I've seen you eat spaghetti with your hands cold. Okay, what? <laughs> You're not a slob, I just like... I guess right, like, let's just say two thumbs um, down. down. Why the fuck would you do that? All right, as we transition here, let's uh, let's just get something. Let's let's get something going. I just want to ask you guys, what do you think about this whole North Korea situation? All right, let's go. What are you asking? Or are you just no, 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 no. Go to the questions. Question. Just for them to think about. Okay, so now we're doing a thing. There's this app called Quora. Quora, and it's you ask questions on Quora, and we're gonna be answering some together. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be answering some questions today on Quora. So, all right, first one: <clears throat> What kind of people will not succeed in life? Ooh, that is that's a big question, man. I would say Nazis would not succeed. In Nazis life. don't succeed in life. I, I mean, Hitler did. Hitler did. He did. Well, did he? He succeeded and then he failed. He succeeded for like a lot of years. I'd say the people who don't succeed in life are the people, and this is gonna sound really cheesy. Uh, no, actually. We have to define, I'm going to do a little Mr. Tao thing here. Show a picture of Mr. Tao. Actually, I don't know if he wants that on. He's going to be a guest. But I'm going to blur his face. Ask him and then show it. Yeah. What is success? What is success, right? Because well, first I of all, people who first don't of all, love themselves can't succeed. Yeah. But, but I feel like, like there's Wall Street bankers who are technically successful who That's hate true. themselves. That's true. What That's were you going to say? True. I was going to say, first of all, to define success, this is the example of peak success. We're mm -hmm. dressed in mm -hmm. not only mm -hmm. button-down shirts, but no pants. 19 and 18-year-old, you know, pure, just success. Pure, pure men, ready for it all. Pure men. Second definition of success. Mon you... There's monetary success, and then I feel like there's spiritual success. I what is more important? Spiritual success, because I feel like I don't want to die being like, oh, look at me, I'm dying in my Club Penguin penthouse, but I don't have... You know, I don't love myself. Yeah. But I would, I would agree with that, actually. So, what kind of people will not succeed in life? Those people who, who do don't not love themselves. Themselves. Parker sent me a video about uh, this, like, <clears throat> this English, this African-American English guy. Oh, is that? Like, does oh, he's so good. He's so good. So good. Let's, well, let's put a picture of him Put right a picture. Here. We'll put a video of him up. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get moving Next on. question. If airplanes could speak, what would they say? <laughs> 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 oh fuck, oh fuck! <laughs> well, they'd just be really tired. They'd never sleep. Like, oh my god. Like... <sighs> Jesus, it's fucking. I feel like if away. airplanes spoke. Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna make a 9 11 joke. Wow. Right here. Right here. He was right about here. to make a 9 11 joke. Um, Put some boo noises on this motherfucker. Alright. Alright. Um, no, I feel like if airplanes could speak. Do you think they uh, communicate with the pilot, or would it be with other planes? I think they talk to birds. Dude, <laughs> what if like, hey guys, do you think they would like intentionally suck the birds into their engine, and be like, see ya, bitch, get in my fucking engine or my thing? You know how birds turbine. get sucked in? Yeah, turbine, turbines. Yeah. Do you think? Remember in um the Incredibles when um Buddy gets sucked into the turbine? What do you think he was saying that? Was he like, fuck yeah, or like, no, 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 get this chubby kid out of my, my fucking... I think it's gross to them. I think it's like getting something stuck in your teeth. They're like, oh, yeah, like a bug gets stuck in your yeah, teeth, definitely. and you're like, ah. Oh. That is a really good, like, Analogy. a bird getting stuck in a plane is like humans getting, eating bugs. All right, next question. <laughs> next question. Um, is Kanye crazy, or is he just being himself? Three words. Poop did he scoop? <laughs> scoop dee dee whoop. Whoop dee scoop dee poop. Poop dee scoop. <laughs> Do you think he's being crazy? I think he's a fucking genius. I'm one of those guys who thinks Kanye is a genius. I would agree. Like, he makes actually good music. That's why I was talking to my friend today, and she's like, oh, that poop dee scoop song, like, sucks, and it makes me so angry that, like, it's not real music. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, but. But, like, at the same time, he's made really good music. That's like, true. he can do that. Like, the fact that he... It's like teasing it. Putting aside his political stuff and, like, all that, like, I think that the fact that he has made good music and he's such a narcissist, like, there's been narcissists since the beginning of pop culture, Definitely. you know? Like, I think, yeah, I think he's a genius and he's just being himself. Definitely. And I also think that not only musically, I think he's fucking genius when it comes to, um the way he markets himself yeah. and the way he like builds up like we're we're literally talking about him right now yeah like that like in its and like the amazing idea i'm sure that they're in love right the amazing kimmy idea k. to marry kimmy k like kimmy k they both just like they like it's like he saw kanye i mean he saw jay-z and beyonce he's like 
All right, watch this. Oh, and he's like, he's like, I'm fucking like Kimmy K, dude. Definitely. Like the most famous person, also a genius. I think her families are geniuses. Oh, definitely. They're Building famous the for the no same reason. Thing. No, know? the same like, thing. Building that, drama. Yeah, that's a, that's insane. The same shit. So, in conclusion, Kanye West is musically talented. He can also build up hype really well, and um, he's a good guy. Con Kim's Kim's hot. All right, let's question. do one more just because <clears throat> we're about to, I think we're going to... One more? Okay. Pick your favorite one of the next And pick my favorite one. How many golf balls can fit in a school bus? Whoa! And I think my answer is too many. <laughs> I'm like tempted to end the podcast there. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'd say like... Fuck. Like a million? Is that no too way. many? No way. I feel like... If we were smart enough, we could for sure figure it out. Like we could look up the mm. density of a golf ball, or like the square, the inch. square inch of a golf ball, and, and then the size of a school bus. But I think for now, what do you say? Like I'd say like I don't know if it's thirty thousand or it's three hundred thousand. You think that's way too much? Imagine how many could fit in like one in one seat. Like if you stack them up on one seat, I say like three hundred. I would say too many. That's all we have time That's for. That's all we have time Let's for. Let's do my podcast, baby. Episode five. Thank you so much for what? Wait, stay. Keep talking. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I just want you all to know that uh, we're going to have podcasts in the next two weeks. We're maybe going to be a little slacking on our vlogs, but we will have it out there. And everyone say hi to Henrietta, the newest do it, salesman. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah! Do it! Do it! But thank you for thank watching. Thank you so much bro. for watching. Um... We appreciate all of you who are watching. Ready? Blow it out. And we drink it. Two, three.